get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. This what you think? I mean, a mother can do damage to a man that no other woman can do just because of some fact that's their mother. If a mother tell their son, you ain't shit and you ain't never going to be shit versus a female, random female telling them that it, it, it ain't going to hit the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like as far as my spouse, let's take it to the to the relationship perspective. If my female tell me that, that's when it becomes a trigger. You know what I'm saying? So once it becomes a trigger, it's like, I really can't fuck with you. And then the simple fact that you don't realize what you're saying and you don't realize what it's doing to me, it, it, it becomes a problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think a lot of a lot of problems come up come upon in, in relationships when females just get to running off in the mouth and they don't realize what the hell they saying until they say something to get their head blowed off. They they understand what they're saying. They trying to hurt you. Uh, I don't they think no. Nah, they understand. They, no, uh, but the reason I, the, but the reason I say but the reason I say they don't understand what they saying because they don't know what triggers any type of guy. They don't. You know. They know. They know. They do have guys that will blow your head off. But they know. Choke your ass out. They, they, they know it's going to be different with every man. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's going to be so different reactions with different men. Right. So you never know what's really going to trigger a dude. Man, girls you know, know what dudes they can talk they know to. Like, right, they know what they can talk to. Right, that's what I'm saying. They, 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 they know. They know. They, they know talk to you like that. They feel they can get away with it. Yeah. That's why they. That's why they talk to you like that. Well, they some bitch ass. She ain't gonna go yeah, talk to a supervisor at work like that. That ain't though. true all the time, y'all. I had one of my simps hit me in my head. We was blocked, and I would have never. She said one of my simps. Oh my god. god. He was a simp, y'all. He was so. Oh, no, what, what made him a simp? What made him a simp? Yeah. Realistically, you want me to be real? Yeah. yeah. The fact that he was older than me, had kids, lived in the house with his grandmother, and he was still trying to rap and have a, a make an honest living for himself. <gasps> I personally feel like. And, and he was still trying to be in the streets. Like, you still want to get on yeah. social media and beef with people and do too much. Like, in my eyes, that make you simp to me. Because you're not a real man to me. Like, any, if you're not a real man, you're a simp to me. Either you're a simp or you're a bitch. So you could choose. Like, in my opinion, you choose whatever lane you go in. But to me, he was a simp because it's like, you ain't about your baby no... Lord, <laughs> I don't want to go there. Don't tell it. I don't want to go there. I swear to God, I don't want to go there. But I feel comfortable because the nigga blocked me on Facebook. So fuck him. But oh God, like you ain't buy your baby. No, you, your baby need her head did, but you you taking me to Longhorn because I shared it and I said I really want to go. And or I didn't pay for this studio session. That or, shit. You know what I'm saying? Or you went and paid for a studio session and you bought a zip, a, a four way or some weed or whatever for me to pull up and then I didn't pulled up and that shit garbage. Boo boo. And you still gave me some money before. <laughs> oh, she I would do. She would do. Hey, she would do. <laughs> nah, but yeah, you hey. was there when I got a tour with that man, boy. She you lame. <laughs> like you're lame. You're you're a simp. So it's like you oh, know, women. Mm. We know who we could pull it on though because I'm gonna be real with you. No man that is in my life right as of right now since I've been grown, I can handle like that. Right. Well, okay, I got a I got hold on. I got a I got a question for you. So how long you dealing with that dude? What you mean? Like just dealing with him? Yeah, in general. Um, how long you dealing with him? Probably for like I'ma say, well, how long I mean it? I'm gonna I'm give I'm gonna say a year. It could have been probably like a little longer than that. Mm -hmm. But when I'm dealing with another dude, other dude on the backside, so you know, they be trying to act, I don't know. A year. So, <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so what do you feel like? So what do what do you feel like caused him to go across your head with the Glock? Um, I'm gonna be real. I told him. I said, "Fuck your kids." Mm -hmm. I said, "Fuck your kids." Have you ever said that before? That before that in the time? Um, <laughs> no, no. But he's heard me say. I'm lying. I said it on. I said it on the app. But I'm gonna be real with you. Anybody that know anything about Clubhouse? Anything about the app? Ooh. You can argue. It's 
Clubhouse, anything yeah. with an app that's just like Facebook Live, you or talking on the phone. If I'm not in front of you, it's it really, easier to say. Yeah, it really you know what I'm saying? Easy, yeah. Rather than if you got a nigga standing in front of you, bitch, you like, fuck your kid. Rather than you been, you oh, been on the phone, and you like, fuck, but, fuck hey, you in the bitch ass kid, bitch. But that, but that, but that, but that was kind of was the point I was trying to get at. Like, you never know what really gonna trigger a guy, especially when you're dealing with different types. You really you're never right. know. In my defense, he was mad because I was dealing with a man in prison, and he didn't want to leave that man in prison alone. But that man in prison was paying the bills. Oh, that's just so, fuel to the that's fire. That's just fuel, fuel to the fire. But I will yeah. say, and I did not expect that's him. Crazy. Or exactly. give him that, like, I didn't respect him. Let me say that. I didn't respect mm. him in that way to be like, let me not say this. Let me not say that. Mm. I just felt like you really want to fuck with me. Mm. You you, you want to fuck with me to the point, bitch, you'll let your grandmama go without. So, bitch, fuck you. Fuck them ugly ass kids. Ugly. Fuck your piss ass baby mama. Fuck no, y'all. Fuck, fuck your mama and them big ass wigs. Fuck he all this. Like, and Hold on. What's he must have made you mad, goddamn. What is <laughs> he? He just yeah, text you so today. My mom was <laughs> no. Hey, y'all make y'all make sure y'all share the video if you watch. Make sure you share. Hey, he like take, he, he just text me today. He texted him more. He inboxed me about a week and a half ago See? and was on some like list link. And I told him I was like, I don't, I'm good. I'm straight. I fuck with somebody, even though like I was like I fuck with somebody. This motherfucker said, Oh, when you start being faithful, nigga. I'm weak as fuck. What? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, when this man like. He's and that pissed me you. off because you know we in the retrograde. Everybody be talking about the retrograde, but yeah, he's like. Everybody that's just not good for me is coming back. So now I just, I don't know. It's different. And even with me knowing what he's capable of now, he's still a weird ass, fuck ass, broke ass, <laughs> piss ass, fuck ass, no money. And it's still ass, fuck broke them ass, kids. Broke ass, <laughs> bum ass, bitch, your kids hey, oh, never fucking did. Bitch, your grandmammy live in that same house, right, bitch, okay, that's fucking right, 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 right. Uh, she said that we're getting away from tradition, and I feel like we are getting away from t- tradition because we don't teach our kids how to be compatible for somebody else. Yeah. We're put here to have kids. So if we're put here to be a person for somebody else, then we should teach our kids how to be compatible for another person. We're teaching them how to have degrees we teaching them how to work we're teaching them how to do this and do that but we're not teaching them how to be compatible for a woman we teach our girls how to be girls but we don't teach our boys how to be men for women i do though that's that's fair but i feel like we should as far as kids growing up we should teach them how to be compatible for other people we should teach our boys how to be men for women and teach our girls how to be women for men that's true Mm. I just think there's some baseline shit that our, our, a lot of our parents didn't tell us because a lot of them, they, they just didn't have the tools themselves. Right. And so it typically, that's why people, you know, growing up, people say, go get your degree, focus on school. Because mm-hmm. they feel like if you get a good degree, you get a job and you're making some money, you can at least take care of yourself. If I can yeah. get you to take care of yourself, pretty I much my, my job. job. I did my job. You know what I'm saying? That's what most parents are just trying to, just trying to do their job. They're, trying not, they're not trying to exceed it. Get extra credit, go above and beyond to come to church. Because a lot of people, truth be told, a lot of people got kids just because they were fucking. Truthfully and honestly, that, just, that is, that is, is Do you think it. being able to pay your stuff. bills is taking care of yourself? Like no. making sure you could pay your bills, get everything, nothing is turned off, nothing is past due. Do you think that is like taking care of yourself? Just yeah. paying bills, though. yeah. But just that's a man's bills, perspective, yeah. though. Anything, yeah. anything that you pay for to provide for yourself, you taking care of yourself. Yeah. You pay for mental health. Yeah, but Do I pay for me? I ain't got to because like my job, I go to a therapy for free. I have, yeah, <coughs> y'all know what? I'm going to say this. When it comes to mental health, <laughs> let, me, let me say this. When it comes to mental health, I think y'all be so off when it comes to how men deal with mental health. Right. I was just going to say that's our job to deal with your man's mental health. Like, no, not even that. Like, for, yeah, for instance, it when it comes to mental health, men, we, we like to do shit. We like to build shit. We like to break shit. We like to. It, it gotta be some movement behind my tail. A lot of times y'all be want niggas to sit down, like you said. How was your mental health? I don't want to sit down and tell you about yeah. my mental health. Like that's not even the question I want to have with my with my girl, my lady, who I'm talking to. But if I say I'm all right, let me deal with my shit. Like let me go. Like I might go to the gym. You might be your nigga might wake up one day. It's like I'm gonna go start working out. You be like nigga, we start working out. He might need that. It might be his stress relief, right. or he might say uh, pick up a hobby or something like that. Like man, when it comes to dealing with mental health, it gotta be some type of doing. I don't want to sit on nobody's couch and talk to right. nobody about no shit. That's what women do. Women use their words to talk about their emotions and shit like that. I don't want to do that shit with nobody. Like, <laughs> and even even with my homeboy, we not finna sit around and talk about 
our mental health or some shit like that. Like, it's fair. Y'all don't sit and talk about what y'all be going through. That's no, the same don't. thing. Can I they say something? Though. Can I oh, say something? Because that ain't, that ain't, I, go ahead. All right. In, uh, situation with my ex, she said this was one of the main reasons we broke up. Because she said I didn't spend enough time with her. Mind you, one, we lived together. Two, when I got out of work, I went home. So, game. Nope. Hey, I don't know if that was a problem with, but I did hit the game a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But now nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't OD like some of these niggas. Yeah, it okay. wasn't like the, like some of these niggas be doing. Some of these, yeah, that's nah. I ain't doing. It. And all because you live together doesn't mean no, that you spend no, time. no, no. It's Listen not. to me. Just hit me out. Okay. Go one mic. Let them finish, y'all. Let them finish. One mic. Finish. One mic. Take a while. Take you. I see they claws. But <laughs> coming oh out, you should hurry up. But nah. Oh. Uh, but that's all like, all like that's how we did. Like that's all I did anyway. Went to work, went home, even on weekends. Oh, uh, I go get my hair cut some weekends I just come home. But she said the main problem was we would never spend I we I even tried to take her on a date one time and she said I didn't feel like going. I don't feel like going. That's one time? Y'all didn't see oh, watch movies times. together. Oh, oh, like, oh yeah. I, like when we sat down and watched TV and movies together, she was on her phone on Instagram scroll. It was I li- I've literally I've literally paused what we were watching and looked at her for you weren't interesting to her. Huh? You wasn't interesting to her. And, and, I'm, sorry, ass I'm nigga. sorry to just throw that out there like that, but <laughs> I feel like it led to you that. wasn't interesting. And like yeah, it, I was just finna add on to a, it like led what you to said. her just not that was an overlap anymore. She's she, over it. Yeah, she was over mm-hmm. it. But you tried so you think he waited too long? Yeah, he waited too long. Late. Of course, I could have told. But you know it was, cr- but late. you know it was crazy. I, 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 I did. Right. I was just gonna say. Well, most yes. women don't speak up. Though. Yeah, we expect for a man to know to how we feel and murder. know. But they do. But it's but it, a real no, shit. But y'all start speaking up. Y'all already gone. But but at the at this point, what I'm talking about, we engaged. But but I was just gonna say that. But that also backpedals because it's just like. You, she didn't come to you and say what I expect from you. Right. She never came to you and said, "Hey, I want this from you." So now that, but she, you know what I would be, she didn't expect that from you. But you know what? What one of her problems was for me? She was always in her phone, social media. Oh, she wanted them. So what I had to deal with as far as my mental health, how I dealt with it. I went to the gym. I went to play basketball once a week. Right, that's fair. She thought that was she thought that was one of the main reasons we broke up because I ain't spent no time with her because I went to play basketball once a week. I just want to say I think she was broken in, in places that that she expected you to fix her and then you didn't fix her. And I feel like mm-hmm. a lot of women are like that. A lot of women. Feel but you want to like, know why though? She has self esteem issues. I was just finna say that. Yeah. I was just I was just finna say that. Yeah. Go if you go out there to the park. I'm going to be honest. When your man is like routine like that, like y'all know I'm good for throwing the curveball. Pop up sometimes. If a man tell you, babe, it's Saturday. I'm going to get off work. I get off work at 3 o'clock. I'm going to go to play some beef. I'm going to go play some basketball with the boys. When they say play basketball with the boys, that could leave up to three to four hours that day is out there because men right. want to run the game back. Uh, I After an hour, I'm thinking you cheating because what see, how many fucking games see, do y'all you, need? Let me tell you, this is what you do. You go get an Uber. You ain't got to get a car 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 Every time I play basketball to the day, every time I go hoop, bro, it's four hours yeah, it's at least. Stuff. How many games Thank y'all you, playing? I'm gonna take. We're going until we get tired. They until are competitive. We, until until we, we we physically can't go no more. I'm gonna be real. I, I, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be real. It took me to actually like. It took my brother going to prison. Me actually having his phone to see like do stuff line up. I'm weird. I went in his group chat. His group chat with his coworkers. We we gonna play, we're gonna play, we're gonna play. The time my brother my brother, they start playing basketball at three o'clock. He not texting a female until a certain seven. time. And then seven. I'm reading like she got an attitude, bitch. He been outside sweating his balls thing. What you mad for? Mm-hmm. But in reality, a woman, we feel like if you ain't giving me your attention on well, who you giving it to, 
Right. And a lot of women don't really want to accept the fact that you are not the only interesting thing in his life, bitch. He has other things. He had other things before you, but that is codependency, which also <laughs> I guess I'm cold I'm gonna say this. I don't think I don't even think it's a codependency. We were talking about this shit that we was talking about this shit the other day. A lot of a lot of women think niggas is just they do boys. And that would it boil down to like y'all supposed you, to be because I'm a new girl. No, no, and no, it's a miserable no, relationship. No, I'm gonna do no, everything. No, we ain't we ain't what, what you're talking about I is totally different. It's totally different from what I'm talking about. A lot of women think niggas is supposed to be their do boys. You're supposed to do what I tell you, do it how I ask you, when I ask you. If you don't do it this way, now I got an attitude. Like if you've been in those type of relationships, you understand exactly what I mean. No, no, to I'm me, when I hear Christian talk about it, it kind of feel like he was probably her dude boy. Like, hey, you need to do yeah. it like this, do it like that, and then when you <laughs> you finally do it, now I'm un- uninterested. I'm in my phone. Like, like y'all be saying it was too late, but to me it just sounded like now I got this nigga jumping through hoops. Now I'm gonna give him something else to jump through. Like, that's just really what it is. And like I hear niggas talk about it all the time, but they don't. They don't. Come, it ain't just simple as she want me to be her dude boy. And people always try to like. And this is another thing is we always try to base a lot of shit that people do in trauma. Instead of just saying some people just fucked up. Some people like to see the wheels on people turn. Like some people yeah. like a Hannibal Lecter. I want to see like if I say this, how your motherfucking mind move when I say, "Hey, you know your shoe, your shoe on the wrong foot," and then you look down, but they on the right foot. Then I got you second guessing. Like I've been putting shoes on for thirty years. Why would I put my shoes on the wrong foot? But now you looking down, and now you wonder why I say that. Now I got you like little shit like that to get your mind wonder. People like to play those games. Don't mean they got trauma. Don't mean they doing it. Some people just like to fuck with people. I've been there. It's been times I would tell a tell a female some wild random shit just to tell it to her. See how she react. Because I want to see what she see what she doing. Guilty. You done it too? I don't know. I don't like toxicity. I mean I don't like toxicity. I'm guilty. Go ahead, Chris. I'm guilty. Go ahead, ahead, talk about it. Nah, it's women like this that emotional gym. It's like that snake charming. Like she says. Be spontaneous, you know. Just get out your character, get out the, get out the 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 boredom. So it's a role play, like it's a. Well, I want to see how you. What's his alternate person? Like women like dudes with personality. It's different than what uh, he say the same shit. Like if you go to your inbox, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You gonna, you going But he say some. Like what the fuck you saying? Let me look at. You go to his profile, and if he hit on certain things, now you may respond. And what what he what things he hit on gonna determine your response. So if I say, hey, uh, like what you doing? She getting ready for a date. I ain't she I could be talking about her, or we could really be going on a date, but I'm speaking in the third person, so I'm saying this, but it's like a you see what I'm saying? It's just to get the emotion flowing. Like, okay, now nah, I'm excited. Oh, he playing with me. Oh, let me entertain it. It's fun. I like this, like she said. I, Damn, I, 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 what's going on? No, not like that, but <laughs> something, something like that. I got a date, like I got a little chick on the way. Like she, she may think I got a chick on the way for real, and she may respond or get into a character where she defensive. But I'm really talking about her. But she may internalize that I really got a chick on the way. Mom, I'm talking yeah, about you, you crazy ass. But like you didn't took it so far, you didn't know I was talking about you. But it's exciting because now you're adrenaline pumping. I, I, can, I remember when last time we was here, I talked about accountability. Yeah, mm-hmm. I could be, I could take accountability and say I would cut show ass the fuck out, yeah. and like I would really be, I'm gonna pull up clean, nigga. I'm pulling up. You got me fucked up. Like, what do you mean? And I would hate to pull up and you be like, baby, what you looking like that? It's just you, like. That's the whole point. That's not that's part of it. When you hold on, when you pull up, when you when you pull up, now I'm saying now I'm saying to you like, why you acting like that? I'm acting naive. Like I don't know why you acting like that. Yeah. But you yeah. see, I ain't doing that. And now you're like, this nigga got me acting out my body. I mm-hmm. feel a certain type of way. Because now you more mad because now you got this power to make me act a certain type of way. To make me pull up to your house and jump out and jump like a jump out, boys. And now this nigga they like, hey, they, like, hey, they like that shit, though. And, and you're responding like because you like feel he is capable of doing it. Right. So that's also bringing the excitement. Like she said, she want that validation for her man. It's the same thing. So. She want to know her nigga is that nigga. Something. But y'all act like y'all act like this niggas gonna be doing that's shit for real. Oh, I know you so you <laughs> y'all y'all act like niggas gonna be doing shit for real. Some, do, that. Yeah, some do, of y'all, niggas majority niggas. of y'all do stuff. Y'all do shit niggas, every day. Hey, niggas do what you mean? Watch what you mean? properly after. Oh man, I, I'm gonna go back. Hold on, what? I'm gonna take a shower. Properly after, smell like fucking. Call her. Call your shirt. 
I'm gonna go back to what Chris said. Green, yeah, green. I'm gonna go back to what Chris said. Baby. He said when he <laughs> said that um. Shit, what did you say? You said Christian on me. <laughs> Damn. Christian. What I Mr. Benefits. Benefits. Yeah. Benefits. 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 I'm going to go back to what you said when you was like that she went, well, y'all was saying that she went interested in all this other stuff. I came from a relationship where a nigga was going to play basketball four times out the week. Every day he got off work from nine to five. And me coming home, I'm cooking, taking care of the baby and doing all this other stuff. I'm, I'm not interested anymore. I don't want to watch a movie with you, nigga. I want to go b- get bent over by some other nigga that's going to give me a little bit more excitement. Because you didn't oh, think about but, getting off work, bent to be over. I, but I got a question for what's four compared to one? That's the difference. That's a big difference. That's the difference. That's the difference. That's a big difference. A lot of, let me, cousin, <laughs> I'm going to say this. I don't really give a fuck how no nigga take that, including the baby daddy. A lot of niggas don't understand that. A lot of people don't understand that life come with changes. You have to be willing to change with your partner. A mm-hmm. lot of people don't. A lot of people like the fact that I met you when you was a hot girl. I met you at Ari went on Sunday when you were shaking that ass on them hundred dollar bottles. Mm-hmm. I remember that. I remember when you had niggas don't. People don't understand that in order to elevate and stay comfortable, you have to change. Right. In order to remain relevant in your relationship, anything you have to change. If you don't change, what the fuck are you? Right. You you feel me? Like even Jordan changed. You, Man, everything changed, right? You know right. What I'm and I think that's the difference. Like, and I feel like another thing as women, as people, as in general, we look at what the last motherfucker did. Everybody ain't that last motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That last motherfucker probably belittled you, probably never told you you was beautiful. Every time you got your head did want to fight. But this new nigga, you go get your head did, baby. We finna go to roof, Chris. Facts. Right now, get Hello. dressed. Yep. It's a difference. Baby, you have to learn show to, out. Hello. You have to learn to adjust to your environment and to what you're around. And a lot of times as women, as men, when we are so used to things going wrong in toxic environments, we don't know how to accept and appreciate the boredom until it's gone. Right. Until it's gone. And then now you you feel me? You with a nigga that want to do too much. Do too much and you mm-hmm. miss the nigga that was ju- doing just enough. Right. I'm learning to, I'm trying to teach myself to appreciate the just enough. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, and that's another thing. We got to give these people, you got to give your partner grace all the time. Notice I'm not saying a woman got to give a man grace. A man got to give, we have to give each other grace at the end of the day because we, for one, raised in two different households, two different upbringings. I don't know what you've been through. I don't know, you don't know what I've been through. Even if I told you what I've been through, you still don't know what I've been through. So at some point in time, people have to stop thinking so of me, 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 and start thinking us. What did I do? Not what you did. What did I do? What can we do to communicate better? What can we do to build this family more? A lot of people don't think about that. And that's why a lot of families are broken because right. it was just about me. It wasn't about us. And us includes the child. Right. You know what I'm saying? Granted, don't base a relationship off that child because realistically, a lot of people are only together for the child and that breaks the child most. The You and you, woman and man, are stronger than anybody else that's ever at this. You got to be you mm-hmm. and your, your person. Whether y'all married, shacking up, anything, a understanding is better than confusion. Any any day, you gotta have understanding with everything with your job, with your friendship, with anything. I know this my dog. I know I can't I can't talk to her a certain type of way. I know I can't handle her a certain type of way. Right. The same understanding I had for my friend, I should have for my man. Right. A lot of people treat their girl, they home girls like they they nigga. That ain't your nigga. That ain't your man. Confide in your man. Confide in your woman. Don't go out here and confide in the streets because the streets gonna give a damn about you. And when I say streets, it includes your friend. I talk to my homegirl all the time about my my issues. You feel me? I would never go and confide in her more than I confide in my man. The same things I say to her, I done said 10 times more than that man. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? So sometimes oh, when you go to her, it's a build-up. Build I need another point of view. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Y'all be giving each other bad information, though. I don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. Sometimes I was in a relationship for a long time. Single women keep single. Well, the women single. And That's I was with a man a that paid all the bills. I didn't work. I Tell stayed home. Tell me I didn't work until my son went to kindergarten. Mm-hmm. And I didn't appreciate